Pisces, hello and happy fall. It is officially fall season. So I wanted to record readings for the 12 zodiac signs specifically honoring fall and what we have to look forward to between now and December 21st when we have the winter solstice. So this is a reading for Pisces sun, moon and rising for the fall of this year. I have new tarot cards this time you guys. It is the Celtic Tarot by Christopher Hughes. If you like the cards, um, you can check my description box for the name for those. And then I also have, I'm super excited for this. I've got all these letters that I, I made Pisces. I'm a Pisces too. I'm really creative. So I've created all these different letters. All of them are different with different feelings and emotions. Um, and we're going to shuffle at the end and go ahead and get some fall mail for us. Okay. But um, what I'd like to start the reading off by doing is checking on the extra messages that are here now that I've shuffled and found the moon card all right so look at our beautiful moon card in this deck Pisces we've got something creeping up from the depths we've got this dragon this mouse hanging out and we've got this full moon so I don't know when you're watching this I just saw 111 I've been seeing 111 on almost all my readings so could be some new beginnings Maybe there's something about your individuality or three individuals. There could be three new starts to something. Um, but we had a Pisces blue full moon at the end of August. And we have a very important full moon on the 29th. I don't know if you can see that 29, but the September 29th full moon. Some of you are going to be really watching this around that time. So please know that that's being illustrated in these cards for some reason. It's just funny how things work out. But, um, you know, we've got a few months to work with energetically in this reading. So the full moon in October, November, December. But this is our energy, Pisces. Um, what I would like to do is check on the story that's already being told in the cards after shuffling. We're going to pull some cards underneath us and see if there's any extra themes or things impacting us. So we know the moon card is us, right? Um, this also, excuse me, this also represents fears, things that are hidden um, it could be deceptive it could be emotion it could be our soul it could be our moon sign if you know your moon sign but it's going to represent pisces in this reading i just wanted to throw some of those extra meanings out now the card closest to us which is the most impactful energy is the card of rebirth now this is the judgment card in this deck so it talks about second chances resurrection this person's resurrecting there could be some feelings here and then you can see all these people look at your Look at your soul tribe. Look at your ancestors. Um, this has to do with when you were born, Pisces. And there was at least seven individuals that were overlooking the like to make sure this baby was born, to make sure that this life was started. But there's some kind of second chance of forgiveness. Now, this is a, an awakening. Similar to Capricorn, Pisces is going through a very like powerful transformation awakening this fall okay to where there may be forgiveness or second chances or people places and things that you thought were gone and, and dead resurrecting for a new birth a new life a new chance but this is for you pisces that's what's emerging from i know that doesn't look like the hand of a baby but i'm telling you there's an there's something here resurrecting about you now we have the page of wands this is also a representation of a child so some of you guys there could be a child here or your younger energy You've got aries leo sagittarius this looks like to be leo to me but it's a uh, free spirited energy you're, you're being reborn out of the depths of the darkness pisces you have changed so much since the end of august because of that blue full moon whether you know it or not your emotion your soul everything inside you was like internally illuminated so now you've got clarity there's certain things been illuminated to you this is going to continue throughout the fall but there's some good news here all right there's some kind of excitement or journey that you're about to go on you're going to express something you're ready we have the nine of pentacles some of you are really confident and single we've got taurus virgo capricorn here but there could be some good news in regards to like you know your stability your you being content and confident on your own during this rebirth so that you don't have to stay you know in this penny pincher miser energy of having to hold on tightly to all your resources or all your money for those of you who've been having you know um resource issues all right some of you guys have been holding back because of beliefs or holding back because of resources or lack thereof but we've got you in this garden i don't know who that is in the background that feels some type of way but you're single you're content now here's the thing pisces this was important for us in um august september as well like a lot of us are focused on tangibility because we do have saturn in our sign which is extremely responsible karma 
restrictions, hard work, maturity. So Pisces, you got to have to read up on that. And, you know, it's going to be in Pisces for three years, at least two and a half more years. So Pisces is really responsible, especially after that full moon at the end of August. Um, but what I want to tell you is even if you're in situations where you're surrounded by abundance and um, luxury, you know, things that you value, everything you could need and want, you might not feel free, which is interesting because we do have a free spirited energy. This is you or someone else. Pisces wants to start this new rebirth. Throughout the fall, you're going to be, you know, you're going through things, going through lessons and situations that help you regain confidence whether this is looking different acting different expressing differently it's like there's a newfound confidence by december because you're being reborn into a much more action-oriented free-spirited confident version of yourself okay and this might involve single energy being content some of us aren't single but there may be things in our life that make us feel single like our projects or something we do for ourselves and by ourselves but you be careful of a gilded cage, right? Be careful of living in luxury, but without freedom. Having everything you want around you, but the door is locked so you can't leave. You know what I'm saying? But some of us are just single, confident. We're, we're going through a rebirth. We're really holding on tightly to what we believe, what we value, our money. There's $400 here, $900, 40 and 90 We've got the Druid card coming out, which is basically the Hierophant card. We have Taurus. There's some kind of commitment. Pisces, there's a lot of commitments here in the fall as well, okay? There may be advice here or um, some of you are showing up as a very spiritual leader, like um, a counselor, a mentor, a teacher, like someone that can guide and bring others together. We have the five of pentacles, yeah. Some of us are going from unemployed to having a job or jobs, plural. Some of us are going from having no resources to being left out in the cold, financially conflicted, to committing to things that will help us gain stability and independence. Because we have the five of pentacles, the four, and the nine. So if there's anything that you feel you're going without, by the winter time, I do see that you're coming up out of the cold. Look at this huge burden that Pisces has dealt with. Someone here, This could be someone around you that you have to help or that's affecting you. But you've carried so many burdens. You're no longer going to have to walk this heavy path, Pisces, of being left out in the cold. Look at all these people enjoying the fire, enjoying the food. Yeah, yeah. And then there's these two people in the background, which I feel are you, Pisces. You're left without... All you need is sanctuary and help and warmth. And it's like, there's people around you that could help, but they're like selfish. And they're making you carry these burdens up this mountain. But this is going to end this heavy time period of financial conflict and... You know, you always focusing on what you don't have. Yeah, you're leaping right out of that. You're going on a new journey. This is the fool down here. Okay, so you're packing your bags here. It could be travel, but you're literally leaping off the edge of this cliff. Even if you don't have enough money, even if you're so burdened and in financial debt, some of you are heartbroken, but you just trust faith. You're just trusting in faith at this point that everything's going to turn around in your favor. You're trusting in the fact that you're going to be connecting with those that you need to connect with soulmate wise. You're definitely watching and observing. Someone's watching and observing you. Okay. And they see that you have your guard up, but there's definitely some choices emotionally this fall. And you're going to be connecting emotionally with many people. That's what this whole faded uh, turning of events, everything turning around in your favor. You're going from heartbroken to in a relationship not having any resources to being stable and everything on your own. So some of you guys, you're risking it all, trusting in fate, um, taking a leap of faith. You know, they say taking a step without being able to see the step is real faith. And that's something Martin Luther King said. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but yeah, you are going to reach the end of this heavy, heavy road, carrying weight that doesn't belong to you, Pisces, because some of this does not belong to you. Other people were too lazy or selfish to help you carry these burdens. But the good part is, is the Ten of Wands represents a sigh of relief. So you are almost there. You're never going to have to carry this again, this abandonment, this left out in the cold energy. I'm seeing September 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. So these could have been important time periods where someone is extremely burdened with unemployment, struggling self-employment left out in the cold but you get advice or you, you know there's some kind of belief and um value and commitment here some of you could be married okay and this is why you've held on so tightly to the things that belong to you because they've been taken you've been without but you know you're saving your money you're going to get to this place of stability by winter i'm telling you by winter by december 21st and definitely by 2024 all of your hard work is going to pay off whether you go from not having a job to having a job, not having a relationship to having a relationship, not having a, a stable home environment, having that stable ass home environment. 
that's why you're going to be more confident. We got Leo here, Aries, Sagittarius. And all of this is because of your ancestors. There's certain people, Pisces, that guide you from above. This is probably damn near all your past lives. It ain't got to be mom, sister, grandma. You know, this is probably all of your, it's like the avatar. I'm seeing the avatar. I don't know if you guys watch like Aang, the avatar airbender. But when he's when he gets into um, avatar mode, he's able to connect with all the avatars before him. And I'm seeing October 20th, 21st, 22nd. 23rd so Scorpio season coming in there's definitely going to be a rebirth in that Pluto energy facing your fears transformation Pisces you have really went deeper than what you've ever went before in this lifetime and you're going as deep as what some of those went before you so they're here to like help you there's definitely some a part of you oh my god it, this is so deep there is a part of you that was underwater that is coming out a new being. Like it's, some of you guys may have a child and this may be a part of this rebirth. Some of you, it will manifest as that. Others of us are not having kids. So it's going to come in the form of like other things. But please know it's like you went to sleep and woke up a different person. You died and became reborn as a different soul. You're, you don't, you're not afraid of the same shit. Uh, there's new things that are dark, whereas before you couldn't see. Now you can see that, but you don't see this now. The light is coming in. The illumination is coming from different areas. But you've got people in awe, just like looking up at you, looking at what you're doing, wondering how you're doing it. But you've got new superpowers, new abilities. Your dreams are different. Your feelings are different. Like, you're different. It's that Pisces full moon. And the end of November is extremely important as well. So hopefully that helped Pisces. Um, if not, stick around and I might pick up on your energy during this portion. So we're just going to shuffle and let a story come out, all right? And remember, this is from September 23rd to November or to December 21st, the winter solstice. So from fall equinox to winter solstice, what messages do we have to help guide Pisces? Sun, moon, and rising collective. Fall messages for Pisces. Fall of 2023 messages for Pisces. The first card out is the five of wands it's even coming out in the conflict position but this card already talks about conflict so pisces even your conflict has conflict and there's definitely conflict um, among other people around you that are that are conflicting other areas of your life it's conflicting you emotionally maybe there's some conflict with a pisces cancer scorpio or this could be you <laughs> but anyway yeah some emotional conflict there's a lot of suitors similar to my Aquarius reading there's lots of different people you know imagine if everybody in the world or everybody even in a single room started to feel different things and say different things all at once though simultaneously everybody started expressing all at once it's like on the count of three everybody scream if everyone in the world did that it might bust our eardrums like so this is like collective chaos like some kind of battle emotionally this could be people around you. You could be involved in this, but it looks to have to do with love. Make sure you're just staying emotionally stable and emotionally mature. But this looks to be like, I don't know if it's a man or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be a woman in a different zodiac sign, but I see some love. Someone here is emotionally mature, balanced, stable, and compassionate. So maybe those are ways to kind of help you if you go through conflict and tension throughout the fall, because there's definitely going to be you know four or five people like these could be friends family members exes okay these this is a part of what you need to let go of this conflict and tension power struggles okay because there's new feelings and new love coming in so these are suitors i don't know what's going on but all these people got something to say to pisces all these people got something to do now look at this we had this come up before we have the wheel of fortune that's your card pisces because you're ruled by jupiter i think jupiter may be in pisces for a little bit and then it's going to enter Aries but we've got some faded changes of events karma destiny things turning around in your favor so things are going from conflicted and they're changing so to me that would be you're headed towards a more peaceful cycle but this card came out with the two of cups now look at that this could be someone who's at a distance but Pisces I do see relationship luck relationship expansion these are the type of people you're fated to connect with emotionally um, there could be a choice that you're fated to make. Yeah, soulmate, fated soulmate connection here. It's one of your suitors or these people are trying to affect these two people. Some some kind of outside influence or energy is trying to cause chaos, tension, loud noise so that you're not able to feel the fact that you're absolutely fated to connect with this person. Or maybe you're going through your own conflict, Pisces, and as that changes fatedly, you're able to connect with this soulmate. Maybe both of you guys have haters or people that fight over you or fight for your love. 
but there's some people spying there's some people listening there's some people watching you connect with this person you're very very connected to this person someone could be spying on you holding back communication but this fall at some point it's gonna be different for all of you you are absolutely faded by december 21 you have you have faded encounter with this soulmate okay but this could be someone who's younger but they're gonna meet you in the water pisces they're gonna meet this could be an earth sign oh my god you know i said that because he's wearing green but we have a, a king of pentacles that came out right when i said that so i'm gonna go ahead and say some of us are connecting with taurus virgo capricorn sun moon or rising um and if they're not an earth sign this is someone who's really grounded they want to they want a little bit of a taste of that pisces imaginative spiritual energy they're really interested in you pisces they have something to offer it's like water and earth or someone who's emotional someone who's practical someone who's spiritual someone who's more tangible so yeah king of pentacles whether it's an earth sign or not this person rubs your feet you can rub their feet like pisces rule the feet and that person is getting their foot feet rubbed because they're like really hard working. So I don't know if you meet this person at work or if they're just really stable and committed. Maybe they work too much, but you guys have like really great conversations. You're more chill. This is definitely by the winter because I think there's snow on the ground. So this could be December. But I'm telling you what. Oh, wow. You don't expect this. The tower. This is complete like shock this relationship this stability now this came out on its own so we're gonna like move it over just a little bit definitely some kind of earth sign here okay and this is all faded some kind of stability but it's definitely unexpected and i love this tower look at that man it has, what is that does that say 27 i don't know if 27 is important to anybody the 27th of a month because we got that 27 <sighs> wow unexpected feelings unexpected love this could be an emotional breakdown things that you know pisces you're gonna remain so emotionally stable throughout this though because you're the fucking pisces you're a mermaid you're not afraid of those waves you're you know you're a dolphin whatever you want to say but yeah we got the hierophant so someone is unexpectedly emotionally committing there's unexpected love here marriage but you have to you might have to leave some kind of commitment or belief out in the cold in order to ex experience this because this is someone who's on your level emotionally and spiritually it could be a pay a, <laughs> excuse me it could be a pisces cancer scorpio sun moon or rising we got a water sign and an earth sign so something here may unexpectedly take place in relationships or money or stability this may happen to someone around you and you end up connecting with them and just kind of helping them and rubbing their feet after they've been through here's this four of pentacles keeps coming out for you pisces so there's definitely some things you're holding on to this came out in my last reading for pisces some of us still have that decision to let go or hold on now some of us are holding on to people places and things that are literally causing us conflict it's conflicting you to hold on tight. You're conflicted on whether you should hold on or let go. And then other people aren't letting you go. Let this conflict go. Let this tension go. Let this fighting go. Go ahead and just let this faded. The sooner that you give in to your destiny and fate, the sooner you're connecting with this soulmate and it's really grounded. This some I, I don't know what's going on here, but someone experiences financial conflict, so they have to hold on tightly to all their money and resources because they're used to losing it and getting it taken. So you're not going to have to be a penny pincher anymore, Pisces, because there's someone coming in that has exactly what you need. Like, it's not in any way that you're a gold digger or that you're um, with somebody for where they live or their money. That's just a plus. Because what you're really interested in is how emotional, how they treat you emotionally and how, they, how they're really able to love you. Not, um, some of you guys need to make sure you're healing and resting because my phone just told me to that I need to charge it. Whoa, we have the six of cups. This is the past, Pisces. Is this is this some kind of we have two different soulmates here. We have two two different vibrations of soulmate energy. We have a soulmate that is absolutely connected to fate and destiny. Now there's a difference between a soulmate and a soulmate that you're like a karmic soulmate, a fated encounter, right? Not all connections are like that. So I'm seeing you having to let go of the past. You're having to let go of a, of, of a certain soulmate in order to connect with the right one. It's like there's no right or wrong. I hate saying that. But there is certain relationships, dynamics that have caused you conflict. And it's like those are what's changing. This person may be far away, though. They may be foreign. They may be a long distance away. And I think that they're very stable. They may be a businessman or woman. They have a lot of different, like, income stability, you know, 
they've saved up a lot of money too um but yeah there's something here you got to let go of and it has to do with the past it has to do with conflict there's memories and it's like other people from your past even if it's a past life um they're gonna they're gonna come back after you let go of them and it's gonna be to try to conflict you i'm telling you they may not know it but something inside of them knows it like they may not be doing it but something that's using them to you know what I'm saying? Like, so they themselves may not know why they want to cause you conflict, but there's just certain forces working within them and working through them that's like, yeah, let me um conflict this Pisces because they're about to connect with this soulmate. Like, these two people are meant to do something together. They could both be teachers. They could both be, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's going to be different. They travel together. They learn together. They grow together. This is the type of person you can connect with that helps you be your higher self like there you feel big when you're with them in the best way you, you don't feel small fate is protecting this union and there might be a choice that you're fated to make when it comes to emotion because there's definitely conf conflict in the, the realm of money and stability that's not our realm pisces we are in the realm of spirit and emotion and love feelings imagination fantasy so the money thing we got to use spirit and emotion to even obtain that because it's an illusion, right? But there's definitely some conflict that you're holding on to. And I'm going to pull it back to that, that message that I'm really getting. There is certain conflict, maybe even conflict financially, that is, it's a low vibration trying to make Pisces feel like they don't have enough money to be with this person. I don't have enough resources to be with this stable of a person. But this person, the thing is, is they don't even care. They just think you're beautiful. They think you're the most magical thing. They're, you're the closest thing to a mermaid or a siren that they're ever going to encounter. So they value you. They're not trying to buy you. They value you. They, You were meant to work on the spiritual aspects until you met this person. And they have been working on the physical. So when you come together, it's like a union between yin and yang, light and dark. Where you're able to let go of all the tension that you experience. Now there is a fight or tension or conflict that is meant to happen here. It brings these two people together in the tangible realm. This is a really deep reading. But I'm going to tell you one more time just in case those in the back didn't hear it. There are people, places, and things. Their assignment is to conflict Pisces around this time. It's going to be different for all of you, but it's like, make sure you go on earth and conflict that Pisces around this time of destiny so that they do not connect with this person. You know, low vibrations that, you know, I'm saying that they don't fight for the same team as you, Pisces. There are low vibrations that try to keep soulmates apart until divine timing. Because like, if you let go of this tension, Pisces, if you let go of your fears and worries, if you truly, re if you're, if you truly go underneath a rebirth process this fall, 2024 better look out because... Especially if you find this person, this could even be a business partner, but there's feelings involved too. You're fated to collaborate with this person. You have a business together. You could teach, you could travel together, you learn together. But yeah, the part that gets me is the fact that there is literally certain people that are trying their hardest not to ever let you connect with this person. We have the moon card at the bottom. Something told me to look there. So yeah, you're afraid to let go because it'll cause conflict. You're afraid to let go of conflict yeah i think some of you are afraid to hold on too so this is money this is resources value i don't know guys i hope this is resonating okay that that's a lot but we're gonna take it we have the father okay that's an aries leo sagittarius energy your father may be important baby daddy i don't know father figures figures of authority this is someone who's has an empire to run divine masculine coming forward okay and we have the King of Wands, definitely a male Aries showing up here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone who's willing to take action in a very mature way. I mean, like they're on fire when they think about you, Pisces. For some of you, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And we have an Earth sign too, Fire and Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone who takes action in the tangible realm. So this is someone who gives gifts. I, I'm sorry about the train. I think it's peaceful, but if it's too loud, I, I'm so sorry. But that could be indicative of travel. Okay, listen, this is nasty, but like someone here has a huge big dick energy. Tell me the side of that chair don't look like a big dick energy. That is, someone knew what they was doing when they did this art. And the King of Wands, you know what I'm saying? He's sometimes not committal. He's very mature, very passionate, has a lot of energy. But someone here has a huge dick, like huge, excuse my language. So that might be something someone needs to know to the point where they have to sit and cross their legs because yeah 
anyways eight of eight of cups here so be on the lookout for those eclipses coming up because we have a new moon there in the sky so that uh new that full moon eclipse in aries at the end of september and then october 15th that new moon in libra now some of you guys have had to walk away from a fire sign and in, in order to walk towards an earth sign so you walked away from someone who was non-committal some kind of outside attractive influence or that's all they were before your boss is coming up here someone who's an authority someone here may have a big business to run they got daddy energy for sure um but you may walk away from if it's not a fire sign then it's someone who is energetic and kind of casanova all, like just sex and you know if that's all they had was a big dick then you're walking away towards someone who actually has value behind their words actually has hard work you've got a choice between um someone fun and someone stable someone who does something someone who's grounded and can support you someone here who's good for a, who's here for a good time and someone here who's who's here for a long time does that make sense and this is going to be extremely important um at the end of september and the middle of october that full moon in aries and new moon in libra because someone here feels like something's missing someone's father walked away someone's baby daddy walked away um you you're letting go though someone here could be kind of arrogant and controlling but keep in mind that's what's linked to this destiny um is this aries this father not yeah this is definitely that aries moon something that someone does there could be a man or a person because it ain't just a man some of us connect with women someone a suitor of ours pisces is about to take action and let something go and it changes the vibration because you know how it is when, when we connect with people right things they're holding on to it affects our ability to like feel them and connect with them this is starting to become tangible. It was just energetic, and I'm sure you've had dreams and you've had inklings of what's going on. But after the fall, I'm telling you, this energy is going to shift to where you guys are able to come in together in the physical, not just sexual, not just passion. But someone has got to walk away to a more stable reality. Something's missing. You can't connect with a soulmate who doesn't realize when something's missing, because what if you're missing and they never realize that? You know, I don't know if I'm making any sense. But someone here is emotionally conflicted. I don't know if this is you or someone else, Pisces, but they've got regrets after they walk away. They 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 have depression or um, they're pessimistic now. OK, so if this is you, try not to focus on, you know, what didn't work out, because there's definitely something that's going to work out. And we have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. I don't know. I don't know, because we got Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got two different fire signs. Some of your regrets rushing in and just having hookups with you. They realize that you're actually soulmate material. Um, and then we have the 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 page, I'm sorry, the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck, just like Scorpio's reading. Some of you could be connecting with a Scorpio or have Scorpio energy, but the fall gives Pisces the truth. It gives Pisces clarity. This could be a weapon or a tool. Look at that. I've got the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is communication rushing in. Someone does something. Um, someone says the truth really quick. Someone decides something really quick. Like this is the truth and immediately taking action with it. Even if you haven't had a chance to think it through. It's like somebody says something here for the first time. And this could be people that are blocked or unblocked from communicating now that they're they're not blocked. And then look at those ancestors again in the sky. Look at all those forms and um, past lives that you've lived. There's definitely some shadow energies around you. They, you may not know their name or their what their face looks like, but there's people that are, that hate you, Pisces, or hate on you. Definitely some arguments here that may clear some things up. Somebody here may have to clear up some things that were said in the fall. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. Definitely some arguments. Yeah. Okay, I definitely see arguments. Um, having to stand up for yourself and say things. Make sure you're, you're speaking your truth, Pisces, and putting people in their place. You may have to decide something quickly, but this is all about the truth. This whole reading has something to do with intelligence and detaching enough to make a rational decision about change. Like, what, what's, what could the truth change about this conflict? What could clarity and speaking your truth change about your relationships and soulmates? What could it change about your finances and your stability? You know, speaking with this amount of authority and taking action... What could it change about emotional loss and depression and conflict? Like, I definitely see someone who regrets walking away. They're disappointed now. The grass was not greener on the other side. In fact, there's blood in it. Um, and then, yeah, someone here is trying to rush back in because they regret. But this was like someone who indulged in hookups and meaningless connections. 
or this could have been something that you tried on Pisces and you're like, you know, I don't like these meaningless hookups. I actually, you know, want someone really stable and someone who's going to commit. So, okay, Pisces, uh, it's time to get you a letter. You just got a letter. Just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Mail time. Okay, so you've got mail. And Pisces, we're pulling a card that we haven't gotten before. So let's go ahead and see what the mail message is for Pisces. Hey, friend. Okay, Pisces, you're receiving a friend. So this definitely could have to do with friendship. It says, go ahead and take a screenshot if you want. What's up? How are you? I just wanted to write you this letter to remind you that I value our friendship a lot and that you will always have a friend in me. You are always there for me and one of the greatest friends I've ever made in a person. That's not something I'll ever forget. Please call me or shoot me a text message sometime soon. We really need to get together and talk. Let's go to our favorite usual spot. Hope everything's going good. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Love you. Love me. So Pisces, when I created this card, I definitely set the intention for it to come out for people who are straight up connecting with just a friendship. Like this isn't one of those friends that love you secretly and want to have sex with you. There's something about friendship this fall. By December 21st, you may have a genuine friend. You know, someone could friend zone you though, or you may have to friend zone some people. But friendship seems to be super important for you this fall. I feel some of us are going to be reconnecting with old friends. Um, so I actually really like that. Maybe it involves communication. Maybe we meet them at work or, um, but yeah, there's definitely some kind of friend here that you need to link up with in the fall. Um, you need to surround yourself with friends and take a break from money and relationships for a little while and just, you know, hang out platonically, get some advice from a friend and have a good time. Okay. So thanks Pisces. Uh, happy fall. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll respond. If you have any questions um, regarding the reading as far as the types of cards or how to get a personal reading, that can be found in the description box. Find my email or any of my social media links and just get a hold of me and we can talk more about what kind of reading you'd like. Um, I'd love to connect with some of you guys, but if not, I will catch you in the next video. Bye!